Welcome to Improve Better Daily. Today, I want to share an article with you titled, Women Over 50 Still Doing These Three Things, 90% of Them Have a Bleak Old Age. Let's listen together. Some say that time may not necessarily create a great person, but it will definitely create an old person. Aging is an inevitable natural law, and a life issue that everyone has to face. Every elderly person wants happiness in their later years, but whether they can be happy in their later years depends on various factors, and handling the relationship with their children is a crucial factor. If an elderly person does many things right with their children, naturally, their later years will be happy. Smart elders understand that to be happy in their later years, they need to take these three steps with their children. 1. Treat each child equally, like pouring a bowl of water level. There is a family with both husband and wife retired, having two sons. The older son and his wife, through their own efforts, bought their own house and had stable jobs. The younger son and his wife had no specific skills, worked locally intermittently, and could only live with the elderly. The elderly naturally supported them with living expenses, even paying for their grandson's kindergarten fees. A few years ago, when the older son bought a new house, the younger son and his wife wanted to move out. The elderly couple sacrificed their savings to buy them a house, but the younger son's family only changed their residence, with everything else remaining the same. Helping the younger son buy a house made the elderly couple happy initially, but tragedy struck when the elderly woman was diagnosed with cancer last year, requiring a large sum for treatment. The elderly couple, having exhausted their savings, faced financial difficulties. The older son's family, despite having the means, refused to help. The younger son, who had always relied on others, was not of much assistance either. The tragedy in this family made me think of a quote by British critic David Frost, when you have only one child, you are a parent, when you have two, you are a judge. Being a judge requires fairness, treating all children equally, especially in financial matters. Parents may have preferences, but long-term favoritism leads to imbalances in the family, resulting in strained relationships and the elders repaying the debts of past partiality. 2. Do not allow children to be dependent. French educator Rousseau once said, Do you know which method can make your child unhappy? It is to always indulge them. Being financially dependent on parents is a prevalent issue among adults who have grown but remain idle, relying on their parents for support. A survey on such adults revealed that the highest percentage of dependency was among individuals aged 28 to 38. Even among respondents with a monthly income exceeding 10,000, 40% admitted to being dependent on their parents at some point. In some cities, 65% of families face the problem of adult children relying on them. Parents indulging their children in dependency is akin to giving them slow poison, creating troubles for their own happiness in old age. Recent news stories of parents and children turning against each other due to financial issues highlight the impact of such dependence. Parents must resist the temptation to indulge their children, as it does not contribute to the children's growth, but rather fosters an entitled attitude and a lack of responsibility. 3. Do not rely on children for old age. Zhao Pachu once said, the home of parents is always the home of children. The home of children is never the home of parents. Having children is a duty, raising them is an obligation, but relying on them is a mistake. While the saying, raising children to secure old age, has been a traditional concept in China for thousands of years, it doesn't guarantee that children, once raised, will take care of their parents in old age. Commentator Bei Yansong once pointed out that relying on children for old age is almost impossible, not because children are unfilial, but because, with the cost of living rising, having multiple children might not be enough to support parents. Parents who are financially independent, and prepared for their retirement can live a more liberated and dignified life. In conclusion, for a happy old age, elderly individuals need to have a clear and rational mind. Handling relationships with their children is crucial, and smart elders understand the importance of treating all children equally, discouraging dependency, and not relying entirely on their children for their retirement. It's essential for parents to have some savings, maintaining a balance between providing support and ensuring their own security. A happy retirement requires a realistic approach and a mindful attitude towards financial matters. Wishing every elderly person a healthy and long life, with a happy old age filled with contentment. Today's sharing ends here. Feel free to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. You can also send me a private message to communicate. Looking forward to meeting you again.